Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts with me, Phil Bars. It's that time again, no time to rest. The tournament's come thick and fast and it's preview time, as always, at the beginning of the week as the Labrooks Players' Championship Finals takes place in Minehead this coming weekend, 22nd to the 24th of November. Last chance saloon for players to either book a place at the world, find some form, break into the top 10, break into the top 16, fall out of the top 16 even. So many permutations. And it's the dress rehearsal. Last chance for players to get their form right before the big one at Alexandra Palace. A cool 100k up for grabs for the winners with a £500,000 prize pool. So not to be sniffed at. The last chance for players to really make their mark on the season. Last year, of course, Daryl Gurney beating Michael Van Gerwen in a thrilling final, an 11-9 win. Stunning from Super Chin. Can he repeat it this year? This year? Can he retain his title? So many questions. MVG's form, good right now. Lost in the semi-final of the Grand Slam of Darts last weekend. Gerwin Price retaining the slam, playing some brilliant stuff right now. Gezi, a joy to watch. Up to world number three, provisionally world number two after the world championships. So a lot to like around Gezi at the moment. Peter Wright finding form again, making a final, changing his darts, um, aiming them a little bit more instead of throwing naturally. So, so many things to look forward to as the PDC head to Minehead. Now, the top seeds for this one, a little bit different. It's done on the Pro Tour order of merit. So you won't find Michael Van Gerwen in the top 10. Gary Anderson isn't even here. This is a reflection on the players that have done the work across the whole season, gone to the tournaments week in, week out, where some of the bigger stars have um, picked and chosen their events, skipped them here and there. So the seedings are all over the place. We're going to run you through the top 10 seeds for the Players' Championship. First up is the Iceman, Gerwin Price. Um, Gezi been just a fantastic year for him and he goes in as number one seed which could be a good thing then from there James Wade number two Ratajski number three again great season from Ratajski on the floor uh, Peter Wright number four again dominant set a record average in Barnsley and Glenn Durrant number five making up the top five seeds does a phenomenal first year and the PDC. Then from there, number six is Ian White. Number seven, Dave Chisnell. Number eight, Jose de Souza. A name that some of the uh, casual darts fans might not know, but the Portuguese star has had an unbelievable year. Really has been his breakthrough year in terms of PDC uh, titles and just playing with the very best. Then from there, Johnny Clayton, number nine, and making up the top ten is Dutchman Jermaine Watamina. So as you can see, plenty of the known names missing from the top ten seeds. Now we're going to run you through our ones to watch. Now, of course, one to watch, MVG has to be in there. It's won three out of the five last TV tournaments. The world number one only got beaten by a stunning performance from the Iceman Gallery Price. So MVG will be tough to beat. But in the first round format, which we'll touch on in a minute, anyone is vulnerable. Then from there, the Iceman himself, Gallery Price, defended his title just such good form right now is the Iceman. He will be hard to beat. Then from there, Peter Wright again, finding form when it matters. Disappointment at the Champions League, disappointment at the European Championships, but bounce back with a final and just a much better demeanour around himself. So again, snaky fans, you must be happy right now. And then from there, Jose de Souza. We spoke about him in the seedings. The Portuguese star has been brilliant this year. Really has been a light bulb moment for him. Confident. His counting still isn't the best. So if he's on TV, on the main board, more than once you'll see it he leaves odd numbers he goes odd ways because he very much is a soft tip player making the transition to the still tip game but Jose de Souza has thrilled us this year and again will be a danger this weekend in Minehead of course defending champion Daryl Gurney defending champions always seem to try a little bit harder in tournaments because they want to defend their title they don't want to give their crown away and I'm sure Daryl will be no different here um We've seen some real positive signs from Super Chin of late. He's just, again, little moments he switched off. He lost a really good game against Michael Smith in Wolverhampton. But Super Chin fans, there's enough to suggest there is a big performance and another TV title just around the corner. Then last up, Glenn Durham. 
A lot was made about Daza at the slam. Should he? Shouldn't have been an argument. Let's not get into that. It's all done and dusted. Back to PDC action. But he's had three televised semi-finals this year. That form cannot be overlooked. So Glenn will be a danger in my head. His game is in a real good place right now. He missed some doubles against Peter Wright. Peter Wright punished him in that semi-final. But Daza fans, I think there's enough to suggest the good times are ahead. In the comments below, have we missed anyone in our ones to watch? Are you shouting at me right now saying, why haven't you done him? Let us know in the comments. Round number one. Now, it's too big to preview everyone, but we're going to put the draw up on the screen now so you can see every tie. But we are going to run you through our five games. Uh, yeah, five. Um, the ones to watch, the standout ties. This was tough to pick them because there are some mouth-watering ties, but first up on our one to watch is Jeffrey Dejuan against Simon Whitlock. We've got the young up-and-coming against the Simon Whitlock who has been around the block, seen it, done it, but needs to stop a little slide in form and rankings. Tough first-round tie against Jeffrey, and of course, it's only a race to six. Brutal first round. Every one of these players is, players is capable of running off a six-leg burst, so you don't want to be caught up in that really good i'm gonna go for jeffrey to beat simon in this i just think he might have a little bit too much we never know what we're going to get from the wizard although there were some promising signs in gottingham in the european championships that simon's form is on the up but i just think jeffrey had, had a better season than simon in my opinion then from there joe cullen against kyle anderson really intriguing game this one Kyle, been a season from hell for him, form, personal reasons. Um, we all know he's had problems uh, illness-wise, that he's had to sort out with his diabetes and everything like that. Just hope that Kyle can now knuckle down and rediscover the form that he showed a few years ago winning, winning in Auckland because the original is a star operator. Just that little bit of luck. Joe Cullen winning a first Euro Tour. So disappointed to miss out on the Grand Slam qualification. Separate story, separate video probably. But really looking forward to this game. I think Joe Cullen has shown signs of there is real star quality in that right arm of the Rockstars. And we're going to go for a Rockstar victory in that one. Then from there, Ron Moulinkamp against Rob Cross. Ron Moulinkamp has played some really good stuff this year on the Euro Tour and the Pro Tour. And on TV, there were signs this year that he's not far away. Rob Cross, very indifferent season. He's either been up there, very, very good or right down there, and he hasn't performed on the TV stages. This is why this game's in our one to watch, because we're not sure what we are going to get. If we get Rob at his best, Rob wins the game. If we get Rob slightly off, like he was in uh, Wolverhampton at times, then Ron could punish him. Really looking forward to this game. I think Rob's experience gets him over the line, but not without a scare in this game. Really impressed with some of the darts Moulin Camp has thrown this year. Then from there, Vincent van der Voort against Aaron Monk on our ones to watch. This is on there for different reasons. Vincent back into the top 32 in the world, but has been carrying a knee injury of late, so we don't know how that injury is. But he had a great run in the European Championships, which cannot be overlooked. He's enjoying life again, where Aaron, again, has shown some real promise this season. He needs a good run here and in the world to keep his tour card. So all is on the line for Aaron in this game. The last pro tour in Barnsley, I think he got to a quarter final losing to Peter Wright. So styles and everything like that. If Vincent is fit and plays like he did in the European Championships, it's going to be a tough, tough game. But there are questions that need to be asked in this. If Vincent's fit and well, I think Vincent wins. But if he's still carrying that knock or is slightly off, then Aaron could, could be the run that he needs to try and keep his tour card. Then last up of our first round, one to watch, it's Jermaine Watamina against Jamie Hughes. Watamina has been brilliant this year. He just keeps getting better every year. There's improvement after improvement. This year, no different. Some breakthrough moments, especially in the Grand Prix in Dublin. Jamie Hughes, when he's been fit and well, he's been good. Won his first Euro Tour in Prague, so we know that the um, lad from the black country has the ability. But again, he's been carrying an elbow injury of late. We don't know how that is going to be. So there is so many questions. If they both play to their maximum, I think Jamie Hughes wins the game. But pace and everything like that, dictation, I'm going to go for a Watamina victory just because I'm not quite sure what we're going to get from Jamie Hughes. If he's fit, it could be a great game. In the comments below, 
have we missed anyone on the ones to watch any of the games that we've picked that you don't like let us know but it's always tough when the field's so big and so strong of course score predictions again whatever platform you're watching on this whether it's youtube whether it's facebook twitter get, get involved in the score predictions below of course, head over to our YouTube channel right now. Tons and tons of content from the Grand Slam. If you haven't caught up with it, so much going on over at Live Darts. Make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on. And of course, our bread and butter, our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We have everything covered this week at the Players' Championship Finals. So you don't need to go anywhere else apart from here at Live Darts with us. Thank you very much for joining us, as always, and we shall see you bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, Friday afternoon for a 12pm start in Minehead.